Now, as far as creating two separate spaces and two courtyards, I'm going to build a temporary fence, but a good-looking one. Post at each end, one in the middle, and then I'm going to line it with Rio mesh. But as far as putting the Rio up, well, this is going to be really good access to get in the turf, the soil and the plants. So it'll probably be one of the last things I do. And that's what I really feel like doing. Live the life, Dan. Mirrors, they're great for checking yourself out. But what else are they good for? Well, when you're working in a small area, they can actually give you the feeling of more space. So I'm going to be making up some screens. I've got some marine ply, and I'm just running aluminium angle around the edges. Then I'll silicon the mirrors in place and sit a decorative screen on top. And that's going to make our backyard look tip top. Screens are practical too. This is the renter's backyard, but here is Marina and Alan's bathroom. If they ever decide to open up this window, the neighbours are going to get a bird's eye view. So to stop that, I'm going to be putting up a screen. And for that, these budget-friendly wooden ones that Jace bought are perfect. Job done. Even though it was only a granny flat, it was still a building site. And there's not a builder in the country that thinks about the garden when they're trying to throw up a house. That's why this is compacted. They bring the bricky sand nice and close for the bricklayers and all the materials in here. And so this has been a storage yard for the last six months. What we need to do is make it a garden. You could drop your soil on top like that and just plant straight into it. It's like icing a bad cake. Or you can turn it over, mix it into the first layer of soil. It doesn't look as pretty but the plants are going to love it. We're putting in a curved garden bed, which will soften the lines of the fence and create enough space in the corner to plant a tree. Because one thing this garden really needs is shade. In a little space even more than a great big backyard, it's really important that you get the garden component right, so you use this space as much as possible. Like I said, small trees in the corner, these are water gums. Now, they're not actually a gum tree. They're commonly used as a street tree. And the reason why is they sort of max out at about five or six metres, and you're lucky if you see it the same width. And the best thing about that, it's not going to interfere with your neighbours' roofs and gutters, so you're not going to annoy anyone. But it's going to give you a nice piece of shade here. Everything else we've clumped together, so you've got contrast in the foliage. From the light foliage here with the small leaf to the bigger one, but the star is going to be these massive gardenias that when they come out and flower, the perfume is going to fill that little granny flat. In a small area, you want to make a big impact, and this is how you do it. It helps to go up. A simple frame out of Rio will give the climber something to hang on to, and it'll hide the shed. A lick of paint on the planter boxes ties the garden in with the fence. Now that's a good looking garden or it will be once the plants are in. Look at this. No more jumping on spades, trying to break up clods of soil. Just beautiful, free-draining tub mix. It's the advantage of having raised garden beds. You can plant into beautiful soil, and you're not bending your knees or your back to get to your produce. Lots of people might look at this and think, why would you put a little piece of grass into a courtyard like this? Well, I reckon it just softens everything so much, it means you can take your shoes off, lie on it, and actually cools down the house. As far as maintenance goes, I probably wouldn't bother with a mower. I'd just get a whippersnipper. Once a week, just float over the top of it, do the edges, and you will have the best lawn in the street. Or be it a small lawn. Jace, this is looking amazing, mate. A few plants, a little bit of a deck. Does wonders, doesn't it? I could live in this little house now. That's fantastic. <laughs> Is that the front, Adam? Yeah, I think spin it around, mate. Do you know what you're looking for? It's the beautiful side. Oh, nice. Boys are just finishing off on the render side, and it's another tip about doing things in the right order. We're finished the courtyard, Adam's out, we just need to clean up and set dress. So the lily pillies can go in, they will be the permanent green screen. And the Rio, well, it's going to be the security screen. The two together, 
a cheap fence that looks great. Now that's what I call a garden makeover. Well, two gardens, really. In such a small area, we've created a usable green space. Somewhere to relax and somewhere to rest your eyes.